Hello tennis nerds, I hope all is well. We're at the last stage of my Head Extreme 2022 Oxetic reviews. Done the MP, which is the most popular version I would say. Then the Tour, which is a bit more demanding uh, for more advanced players. And now we get to the lighter versions. These used to be called a bit differently, S and so on. Now they're called Team and MP Light and Team Light. So uh, they are all more powerful a little bit thicker beams, a little bit more open string patterns. And so definitely for you who want more from the frame, more power, more spin. And I can say straight away, I was really impressed by these frames. Usually these are rackets that I tend to put away after a while because they're not really for me. I like more control oriented rackets normally, but these were actually very nice feeling on impact, fun to use, lots of free pace and spin. But the, the sensation when you hit the ball was actually quite uh, enjoyable, which is rare for these types of rackets. They're supposed to give you power and spin, uh, but the response is not always that exciting. I first tried a Team Light, which is an oversized racket on the clay in Sweden. And I enjoyed playing with, playing with it a lot. Very light, you can see the specs on the screen. Easy to use, easy to swing. Not for you advanced players perhaps, because you're gonna lack some control. But for many intermediates, I think there is a macho vibe out there that you need to play with a heavier racket that says Tour or Pro or something like that. It's fine to buy a team or a light version or whatever because uh, for most players, they're absolutely fine to use. You get enough stability, good power. Uh, these still have swing weights above 300. So one version with Lynx Tour was 307, for example, the team version. So this is not a racket you can't use and I think there is a little bit of a, a misunderstanding that these are just for beginners because they're not. You can definitely use them on the intermediate level. I played uh, a few sets with these rackets and uh, could compete decently well against advanced players. I wasn't playing my best tennis, the ball is flying a little bit but you also get some pace and spin that you can really use in situation especially if you play on clay for example with higher bounces, slower courts and so on. So if we start with the CPI scale, that's the control power index from head, the team light version, which I ended up giving to my mother because uh, she really liked this one. She's getting back to tennis. She played a bit when I was a kid, but now um, she's getting back to it. And she really enjoyed the ease of use of this frame. She's kind of a beginner, lower level intermediate. So perfect frame, ease to use, lots of power, good sweet spot. Nice impact feel, definitely a, a nice frame and, and just ready to play as it is. It was the only model that came strong and I would assume with head links and they work really well together. I love playing with this frame. Obviously it does make the ball shoot out from the string bed a bit. So uh, for you players that don't hit with spin, it's gonna uh, be a bit of a, a rocket launcher. But for beginners to intermediate level players, a nice frame, perhaps a bit too powerful. So for the beginner level, I would say that Team Light is perfect. Uh, so that stayed in Sweden and uh, now I've been playing with the Team. This one strung with Lynx Tour, uh, one of my favorite strings. And if you're worried about arm issues, uh, the string can be the main culprit. This is not a comfortable string, but it's all about the tension. You can string them even 40 pounds. So the tension will help uh, a sensitive arm, even with polys. Doesn't mean that you should play with a poly if you have tennis elbow, much better to play with a multi-filament string like Head Velocity or Wilson NXT and so on. But through my consultations, I see many players that string a polyester at 55 pounds. And that's simply too much for most players. Unless you hit the ball like Rafa, you're not gonna need that 55 pound tension. Instead, lower the tension and uh, try to play with that. You will get used to it. You will get a bigger sweet spot thanks to the string bed being more forgiving. And they're mainly only benefits. I mean, a little bit lack of control, but I think for most players, that won't be a problem. Uh, so definitely don't string these at a high tension um, or unless you hit big, 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 you know. So this one I strung at, at 47 pounds with Lynx Tour and really fun racket to play with. Uh, I didn't play my best tennis, but I got a lot of help for free. So these are the lighter extremes, the MP light and the team. There's also team light, close in power level, 700 and 600, as you can see on the sides here. And we'll start with the team to see where the, where the most power is. I could generate some good pace, hit some nice winners and excellent on defense. Uh, only some shots I felt like the ball was flying a little bit. The string pattern is 
relatively open, which is something you expect because the improving player obviously wants help with the spin, the, the height over the net and the pace. So really good the pace. This one has a CPI of 700 and as you might know that they put the CPI scale on the frame here on the side. So it gives you an indication of how powerful the frame is. 100 is the lowest and very low powered. That would be like a mid-size prestige and a 900, uh, which is the highest I've seen, is the extreme team light, a very easy power and spin. This one I had more control with than the team light. This is why the team I think would be a good option for a lot of players. And if you look at the specs, it's something most people would not even consider, considering the, that the weight is pretty low. So it's a 100 square inch racket, which is pretty standard these days, 275 grams uh, unstrung. So you add strings, you add around 15 to 20 grams. And uh, that's 9.7 ounces uh, for you Americans, 27 inches. And the balance is where this uh, changes, of course, because if you have a light racket, you need the balance to be more in the head. This is 33 centimeter without strings. So it's gonna be about even balance when you string it. As you can see, this is pretty close to, to even balance. And the beam width is kind of typical for these types of frames, but I like that it's a little bit thinner here. So it's 23, 26 and 21 millimeters. So I feel like I can grip this pretty nicely on my one-handed backhand. Uh, so even the one hand, which I sometimes struggle with these power rackets, because my one-hander is pretty flat, I felt like I could hit it pretty well with these frames. Uh, so yeah, the team, very good frame. If you're an intermediate player and you need help with power and spin, you don't need to go 300 grams and get that 320 swing weight. This one is specced up at 308, uh, I think with this Lynx Tour, which is a heavier string and could easily play uh, a match with this one. Very nice to serve with. I could get a lot of power on serve. I have a shoulder uh, injury, so I can't go full blast on serve. I mainly served second serves. Just easy to put it in. I changed my motion a bit, as you can see in the video, but uh, I could still generate some power uh, thanks to the rackets mainly, so, um, and using my legs more. So um, yeah, good racket, easy to play. Not many bad things. I mean, control will be a little bit an issue unless you hit with spin, but most players these days hit with spin, and that's what you need to learn if you don't. So. Uh, definitely a fun racket and I think many players would be surprised at how good these rackets play and that you still get some control with the right string. So don't be um, looking only at the mid plus or the tour versions. Try to cons consider going a bit lighter. And if you think 275 grams is a bit too light and then that this power level is a bit too high, there is the MP of course, which is here. That one I probably like the most because it was a little bit beefier swing weight. But I also enjoy the MP Lite. And the difference here with the MP and the MP Lite, which is good to know, is that this is more similar to the previous string pattern of the MP. And that is more open. So these rackets are more open, they're not as dense in the middle, which gives you a bit less control but a bit more lift on your shots. And the MP Lite was probably my favorite of the lighter generations because it gave me a little bit of more control and uh, strung this with one of my favorite strings grapple snake tour mate m8 tour mate whatever you want to call it and uh, the specs of this one is just a little bit uh, more weight added but the swing weight is very very similar so this is a 285 gram racket and uh, 100 square inches and you would say that the balance is pretty similar but a bit more towards the handle so these frames are super similar i don't really know if it's necessary to have a team and uh, MP light because they are, you know, very much the same frame with a 10 gram difference. So that was hard for me to distinguish 100%. The difference is here because if you have a, you know, team that is a little bit heavier than what they should be, and an MP light that's a bit lighter than they should be, as you know, with quality control, this can happen and it's very frequent, then uh, it's the exact same string pattern, exact same everything. I don't really know. I think you could have had a team and maybe a team light and an MP. I think that would have been enough. But maybe you sell more rackets this way. I don't know. Maybe players think that those 10 grams make a difference. In my thinking, they are very similar in swing weight as well. So I don't really see a need for two of these rackets. You know, I think if you can use 275, you can use 285. Um, but I might be wrong. But that's generally what I feel about these frames. And uh, I think most intermediates could pick either one and, and actually have a good time. 
and you can customize it. The impact feel is better with this generation. I really feel like it's a pretty solid frame. In this 100 square inch rack, it's like the speed. I think the Oxetic Tech is more felt than in the 98, like the Extreme Tour or the Prestigious. I felt like I, I enjoyed a lot more in this 100 square inch racket. Really enjoy the feeling of these frames. And I play with them with polys that are relatively stiff, no arm issues whatsoever. Big thumbs up to these Head Extremes lighter versions. I Probably the, the most fun I've had with lighter rackets in my tennis playing life. Uh, I also enjoyed the Blade 104, for example, as you might know, which was 290 grams. Uh, so there are good light rackets out there. Don't disregard them unless you really feel like you need ultra stability. Obviously at the net, sometimes you can lack a bit of precision and some shots like the slice might sail a bit more on you unless you hit it perfectly. But uh, overall, very easy to use, fun to hit with, lots of pace for free. Obviously you need to hit with some spin, but don't be afraid of lighter rackets. The new extremes. With Oxetic, I think they are a good improvement and very solid rackets. And I had a lot of fun with the MP, MP Lite and the team versions. I want to thank my buddies at Play Your Court. You can find a hitting partner or a coach using their platform, 50% off using my link in the description. Uh, so big thanks, great for you. You should really vary your partners and definitely if you can, if you can afford it, get a coach because that's the best way to improve. Another way to improve is to use the app from Fuzzy Yellow Balls and they have a module called Crush It where your kinetic chain really gets a treatment. You can really see on serve, backhand and forehands how to use each part of your body to generate more power like the pros. And that's what a lot of us recreational club level players like. We would like to get more out of our body and how we move our different parts to generate more pace on the ball. And uh, this is very well explained in this app and the module and you get the serve part for free and then it's a pretty cheap app to subscribe to for a year and then you get all these different modules and, and instruction included so check that out in the app store there's a link in the description if you need help to find a new racket there's a consultation service on tennisnerd.net loads of content on the website as well and if you want to buy one please consider using my links in the description it helps the site and this whole project stay alive have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis